When it comes time to execute a mission, I, I need a more detailed level of data to make the on-site tactical decisions. And that's the importance of having the situational awareness. The performance of the objective was to have, to put a, an unmanned platform to go investigate a target that may potentially put a manned platform in harm's way. We modified the 6D Sierra with a, a radar and a uh, data link capability. We modified the, the uh, Fire Scout with a similar data link capability. And then we uh, simulated various mission sets out in the bay. It did two things for us. One, it allowed us to explore the capabilities of the Surface Aviation Interoperability Laboratory, and it also allowed us to explore the integration between the Fire Scout and the MA-60 Sierra, two platforms that will be operating together out in the fleet. The main mission of the uh, Fire Scout is uh, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, and uh, the idea in this case would be to do some over-the-horizon, uh, non-line-of-sight surveillance that could be sent back to the ship via the H-60. With an unmanned vehicle, we can keep eyes on a subject target for much longer, and it's that, uh, that persistence that also provides a significant tactical advantage to not only the air crew, but the battle group commander. The SAIL facility acted as the surface vessel, the surface platform. We we're also the communications node that was able to direct um, the fire scout uh, and vector its, its location to what the Sierra was sending down here and we were processing here on, on the ship side. The sail is a tremendous asset for NAVAIR. It, it allows us to conduct testing to reduce risk prior to introduction of a capability to the fleet. Having to be able to link and manage multiple assets, all four assets, an H-60 helicopter and an unmanned vehicle off of an Aegis platform is certainly uh, a future objective for the Navy and we're, we're proving that out right here.